Enjoy is brought to you by Gondor Cosmetics and Societe Generale Ghana. at yours. Okay. <laughs> I'm really excited today because I finally get to see where your beads come from. The beautiful beads at Sun Tree. Absolutely. So, yeah. you're going to take me on a tour, aren't you? I will. Okay. I promised you. I oh. shall. Yes, you always keep your promises. Okay. Okay. All so right. we can go to the workshop. Please lead the way. The master, Tete Abraham. The master. He's okay. one of the many talented Krobo bead masters that uh, I source my beads from. Beads and this bead making have a long Abraham's history work. in Africa. Some of the oldest beads Hello. were made from natural materials such as stones, clay, plant <laughs> materials such as doom palm nuts and bamboo stems. Thank you so much, Katty. But we're thank gonna you. catch up with you in just a bit. I know you have to run. Yes, thank you for having us. <laughs> bye bye. Thanks, Katty, bye. Okay, I love wearing beads and I'm always attracted yeah. by mean, things that aren't. these beads is from my stock here. It's only here you can get that finishing. This exact bead yeah, yeah, yeah. was made right here in this yeah, workshop. Yeah, yeah. So I'm wearing your bead, literally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Are you, you are serious? Ready. Abraham Tete from Tet Beads showed me how the whole process of glass beads is done. Is this the usual process for breaking up the glass? See, if you put it like this, you get a pure white powder of glass. Okay. But if you use the machine, it changes the color into ash. So we cannot use for oh, so the machine of, taints yeah, the color. It, it doesn't give color. you the color that you want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have to do it by hand. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Goodness. Look, it's like flour. So is Next like is to add the dye of your choice. We are using red. Uh, this mode. Mm -hmm. You see, there's a stick inside the mode. Okay, to make the there's whole. inner hole. Finally. The powder is put in a mold, which is coated with kaolin to prevent fused glass from sticking to the surface. Now it's ready to be put in the oven. Ah, time to cook. <laughs> in this oven, how many of these molds can you fit in there? This mold you put uh, 40 pieces in. Oh, I see. 40 molds. Like this? Yeah, yeah. That's quite nice. How long will they have to stay in there before they're ready? Uh, like. 20 minutes, it's oh. ready. Hey, that's quick. Ta-da! Now you've seen how we get from this glass bottle to these beautiful pieces of beaded jewelry. <gasps> Here's my red! Okay, so now I can see where my red beads came from. Let's head to Nubuke Foundation, where I met Jill Kwakupom, who was exhibiting some of her pieces, which are a mix between leather and beads. Tell us about this design. Yeah, the, the um, chevron beads are more difficult to make. They're mm -hmm. quite unusual. These are slightly, they're not so old, but they still take time and they're made with many layers. Yeah. But I've incorporated them into a, into a leather piece so that they're part of the construction, and not just the ah. decoration. So this becomes a belt, which is made from two pieces of cowhide that okay. have been worked together so that these actually form part of the part of the construction. Actual, so yeah. it makes it a very simple belt to wear. But also shows the so, versatility shows of beads again. Absolutely. The and possibilities the are endless. Yeah. Endless. So the possibility and the working with uh, bead and, and leather is a sort of very natural combination. Exactly. It's amazing to see the enormous role beads have in our culture, fashion, economy, and artistic expression. Finally, my last stop of the day was to visit Sun Trade, which is owned by Katy Toda. Kokui, you've got up with us. Hello. Yes. Great. Welcome. Great. Welcome Great. to Sun Trade. Good. So my bead journey has come to the hotspot, Sun Trade. Now this is where Katty works her magic and sells the most beautiful beaded jewelry you will find in Ghana. 
But let's find out a bit more about you and how long you've been doing this, how long you've been creating such beautiful jewelry with beads. I came to Ghana in 1979 and I went, we lived in Aquatia and I went to the weekly market to find my beads. Okay. First to decorate my macrame home decorations, but gradually over time the beads took over the design and the rope got smaller and smaller. <laughs> so jewelry entered the picture in already 19... 85, I exhibited in the Goethe Institute Jewelry. Okay. So I'm doing it for about 30 odd years, three decades plus. I think your experience is clear in, in what we see in the shop. There's Thank so you. much to choose from. You can't walk in here and walk out empty handed. It's I so tempting. That. I prepared a, a necklace here that I use a Ted sophisticated skin bead. That Ted's beads he again. Yes, he, he polishes beads very nicely very and he well. has regular sizes. So I thought this necklace, I will set it like Europeans and Asians set their precious pearl. Do wear it to get convinced <laughs> that how really you feel very beautiful in it, I'm sure. Let me adjust, well, all done. This is our pearl in Ghana. And of course it comes in milliards of colors, at least 12 colors. Loads of colors, yeah? Yes. This is just the right accent to just add a spice, spice of color, especially if you're wearing black, so. like I'm wearing Imagine, black today. Yes. And then boom, pop of color, it's you're good to go. Much. So what kind of people come in to buy your beads? Oh, we Local. have a varied clientele. Ghanians, they, they are my main clients. Expatriates come because they are traveling, they're shopping. Those who know the shop already, they bring friends. But aside from your handiwork and your craft work, do you exhibit any work by other jewelry designers as well? Oh. Yes, I, uh, also I belong to Ghana Beat Society. I have Beat Society members who display their things. Then I have friends introducing me other designers. Here's what I'm going to do, as I always do when I come here. I'm going to go around, go searching, and leave with something. Okay, Cassie, what would you recommend? Oh, what's on your neck, because it's our <laughs> pearl. Okay. It's festive, it's elegant, mm -hmm. and it's still this year, new design, okay? What is it about Cassie's beads that attract you so much? Um, Katy's beads are very eccentric. Mm. They're very different. Yes. They are fashion forward and they still have the very traditional touch to it. Yes. So you can wear it anywhere. Well, sun trade is part of my tour trail as a female taxi driver. Okay, so you bring people here? Of course. Great, awesome. For my detailed Accra tours, yeah. you just can't miss some trade. Okay. For lovely beads, lovely ornaments, she has turned the whole, or revolutionized the whole trade of beading. And it's fantastic. Isn't it amazing what a simple string of beads can do for an outfit? Well. Now, I'm going to keep on shopping, but you can go ahead and just check out what we have for you. This program has been sponsored by Gandor Cosmetics and Societe General Ghana. Enjoy.